Hi, it's Chloe here from Blue 8 Renewables and we're back at my home today to talk about exactly how my air source heat pump installation has impacted me, my family and my bills. So I had a six kilowatt air source heat pump installed and I have a 150 litre hot water cylinder. One of the biggest reasons that I wanted an air source heat pump was the government grant. There's £7,500 available on the bus scheme, which is the boiler upgrade scheme, and that can be used to heat your home using an air source heat pump. When I purchased my property, we did have an outdated boiler, um, and it was just a great opportunity for me to take advantage of a government scheme that would ultimately save me money in the long run. So air source heat pumps are more efficient than boilers um, and that's a fact. So we can include some data sheets here. I know the media is I believe 300 to 500 more efficient than what a boiler is. So that was a big tick for me as a homeowner. Savings was also another initial big part. You have the standing charge on gas, you have the gas bills, you have annual servicing. Um, with media installations, you do get three years free servicing with the media my care plan. So there were so many different factors in which pushed me towards getting the air source heat pump, but ultimately it was down to saving money and having a more efficient system in my home. Now, obviously I have solar installed in my property, so that was a big tick with regards to getting an air source heat pump. If you have got solar installed at your property, you're gonna be generating a lot more electricity, which ultimately can be used to run that system. Um, and again, saving you money. Within my home, it's myself, my partner Stephen, and my son Harrison, and we have a three bedroom semi-detached property. So yeah, that system was sufficient for me using the 50 litre per person advisory, and the air source heat pump has performed fantastic. So before any installation, and as it went with my home, I had a heat loss done. Um, we did video the heat loss, so it's a really good video to watch. If you are considering to get an air source heat pump, if you watch the heat loss video, it tells you exactly what you should expect. And that's what it did for me in my home. It's how the team were able to tell me what system they would recommend, how they informed me with regards to radiators that potentially needed changing, um, and the additional radiator that was situated in my conservatory also was established from that heat loss. So it's a key, key important factor of getting an air source heat pump installation. One of the things with an air source heat pump is it runs off electricity. So during them winter months, you may find that it has to work that little bit harder in order to heat your home. But to give you an idea on how that may impact your bills, last month it was September. So we had the air source heat pump really starting to kick in. September's around when I start to put my heating on for winter and my electricity bill come to 70 pounds. We exported 18 pounds, giving it a grand total of 52 pounds for that month for my electricity bill. So you are still seeing savings during the months that possibly are getting a little bit colder. During the summer months, you may be inclined to turn your air source heat pump off. I know I was because I didn't think it was in use. I have the knowledge now and can give that to you. Don't touch it. Leave the air source heat pump running in the background and you will still have that hot water readily available should you need it. So May this year, obviously a much brighter month, um, we're going into spring and it was one of the best months for me um, with regards to my system. So we actually had a bill of 45 pound, but we exported 58, meaning that we actually made 13 pounds in the month of May. So the air source heat pump is situated on my external wall. Um, but it's situated quite high up the wall on brackets. So it's a good way of taking advantage of people's homes who may not necessarily have the floor space for the system, but do still want it. Like myself, um, there is still options and we can definitely talk you through them should you be in a similar situation to me. So the installation itself was fantastic. Um, the team did advise me it can take three to five days. However, it did go a lot quicker for me, which was great. There was no disruption to my day-to-day -day life. Um, and yeah, the team were helpful, knowledgeable, and delivered the install to a really high standard, which I was best pleased. One thing for me that I know a lot of homeowners may be concerned about is taking out your boiler and installing an air source heat pump and a hot water cylinder could possibly be a big disruption to your day-to-day -day life. I've experienced that firsthand um, 
and I can safely say it wasn't. The team were fantastic, it was quick, they were informative, it didn't disturb myself and my family's living, and overall it was a great installation. So it's really important to note that, that these installations aren't such a big impact, can be done during winter months, and can be a lot quicker than the time frame that we initially give. So obviously one of the, one of the key points with an air source heat pump is it does run continuously. Um, so it, it basically means that you've got that hot water and heat in on a tap um, and should you need it, it's there and it's readily available. There's no loud starting up as there is with a boiler. Um, we find as a family, we haven't had to make big changes to our lives. It runs with us pretty much how we've always worked. So one of the things that we did on my installation was install a radiator within my conservatory and the impact that that's made has been phenomenal. Um, as known, conservatories can be particularly cold during winter months. That hasn't been the case for me. The home has been warm, toasty, and yet the air source heat pump has delivered exactly what we had hoped and what we'd anticipated. So we are on the Octopus Intelligent Go tariff, and mainly because we have the EV charger, which I've talked about in a different video that we talk about my solar install. So another key point of that Intelligent Go tariff is it can be used to boost your air source heat pump, providing you with hot water and heating during them colder months as soon as you wake up in the morning. One of the, one of the most important things with an air source heat pump for me has been the team at Blue Eight Renewables set my settings just how I would like them. So when I come home now on a day-to-day -day basis, my home's hot during the hours that I want it to be. It works exactly how we anticipated it to. And we just let that run in the background. Um, there's no change in room temperatures or messing with controls. It works as it's supposed to without any input from us as a homeowner, which is great. So I have a teenage son, as I touched upon earlier. Um, he likes long, hot showers and that hasn't had to change, which is great for me. Um, we haven't really made any changes to our lives for the air source heat pump. It's just fit in with me and my family great, which is exactly what the team told me it would. Everybody is different. Every system will need different requirements. And what's key and what's important is you as a homeowner understanding how to utilize that system to get the best for your money, which is exactly what we've done in my case. There's no changes that I would make if I was to go back in time and get this system installed again. The team told me about what we maybe needed to do with regards to adding additional radiators, where it could be located and where it couldn't, hence why it was put quite high up on the wall. Um, and yeah, it, it's been fantastic. It's delivered what we hoped it would. One of the concerns was noise impact with it being on an external wall that's quite high near a bedroom. The team put in some anti-vibration feet on my brackets and we've had no issues, no concerns. And when guests do stay in that bedroom, we've had nobody come in and tell us that they can hear that heat pump running, which is great. So Midia are renowned for being one of the quieter heat pumps on the market. I have a neighbor next door who I have a very close relationship with, and I'm very certain that she would have knocked on and let me know if there was any disturbance from the air source heat pump. So we are all good when it comes to noise disruption on the Midia air source heat pumps. And I can say that firsthand, now I've had one installed on my home. So I have had a few people ask me about my system. Obviously, where I live, you can see my property from a main road. You can see the air source heat pump and you can see the panels. And I always give that advice that if you come to Blue Weight Renewables, but there is a referral fee available, if you know somebody who's interested in an air source heat pump, you can take advantage of that. So even if your home's not suitable, it's still worth you gaining that knowledge and potentially making some money for yourself. So overall, I would say an air source heat pump has outperformed my boiler. It's not made noise. It's not impacted my home and it's performed exactly how I would hope. So as always, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you do have any questions that we haven't covered within this video, drop them in the comments. Um, we will be doing another catch up following the colder winter months to let you know how that system's performed. So if there's anything I've missed, please feel free to let me know. And as always, like, share and subscribe. And we hope to see you again soon.